Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nim. Before I get into today's video, I have a super special announcement. I am very happy to finally launch my online store. The website is now up and running, kawaiispirits.com, so you guys can go check it out. I'll leave a link for it down below. Right here, I have the very first product that I've designed for my store. I'm very happy to show you guys that I've designed my own notebook slash journals. This one says, Dream, Create, Inspire, and this one says, Dream Big. I'm very happy with how these turned out. They took me a while to design, but it was so worth it. My personal favorite is the cat one, but let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Both of these notebooks are available to pre-order, so you can go to my website and you can pre-order them right now. These are limited edition, so they will only be up on the website for two weeks. I also wanted to mention that these will take four to six weeks to ship out and that's because they will be made to order. I really hope that you guys like these notebooks as much as I do. I had a lot of fun designing them and I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who are always leaving me such amazing and positive comments. I really appreciate it. Now that I'm done talking about Kawaii Spirits, I'm going to move on into today's video. Today I'm doing another DIY room decor video because you guys kept asking for another one. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get right into it. The first DIY that I'm going to be showing you is a box organizer. For this DIY, you're going to be needing boxes. I'm using two, but you can use more if you want to make more compartments. Here I have my first box and I'm going to cut it slanted, so I'm going to measure it out just to make sure that I cut it evenly. The hardest part about this DIY for me was to find the right kind of boxes. Maybe I was too picky about it, but it really took me a lot of time. To decorate the box, I'm using this super pretty floral print scrapbooking paper. I also used this pink tape to cover up the rough edges of the box so that it looks all nice and clean and perfect. If you're wondering, I did cover up the back of the box as well. I didn't do it on camera, but I did do it. Because the second box that I had was too wide, I had to cut it down a little bit. So I'm just going to cut that right off and I'm going to paint the inside and the outside of the box with some white acrylic paint. I'm going to put the first box and then put the second box inside of it. If you want, you could glue it in, but mine was a perfect fit, so I didn't have to. And there is your completed box organizer. The second DIY that I'm going to be showing you is a mason jar brush holder. Now you guys always get to see these brush holders that I have in my background when I'm filming my intros and I always get a lot of questions about it so I thought I'd redo it just to show you guys how I did it. So here I have my mason jar and I'm going to paint it with two coats of yellow acrylic paint. Then I'm going to take my pencil and draw an outline for the face. Making an outline really helps with the placement for the eyes and the mouth. Then I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and just fill it all in. This is such an easy DIY, but it's so, so cute. Especially if you're making more than two or three, they look so cute together. This time around, I decided to change up the colors a little bit, but you can obviously make them whatever color that you want. To finish off the jars, I'm going to use this clear gloss spray. Not only will this prevent any chipping, but it'll also make the jar super shiny. If you don't have a spray like this, then you can always use Mod Podge as well. There are the completed brush holders in which I'm going to store my paint brushes, polymer clay tools, nail brushes, and pens. The third DIY that I'm showing you is a cat container. This is another DIY that I always get a lot of questions about because you guys always see this cat container in my background all the time. 
So I'm going to be using some air dry clay for this. I'm using Fimo Air Basic. I'll leave the complete name down below. So all I'm doing is I'm going to roll it out and you want to roll this out as thin as possible so that there is no cracking or anything like that. Then I have this container that I got from the dollar store and I'm going to cover up the entire container with the clay. You can use pretty much any container that you may have and I'm using my fingers and a tiny bit of water to smooth it all down. To make the ears, I made two triangles and I'm going to pop those on and blend it all in with my finger and a little bit of water. Once the container is all done, you want to let this air dry for about 24 hours. I already have the container painted white. I was doing this on camera, but I forgot to press the record button. So let's just imagine that I painted this white on camera and you guys saw it. Like I did in my previous DIY, I made an outline for the face and I'm going to fill it in with some paint. I really don't like saying this, but these three right here are legit squad goals. I'm using these containers to store my hair ties, cotton pads, and q-tips. For this final DIY, you're going to be needing a bulletin or cork board. I cut mine in a rectangle-like shape because I wanted mine to be small, but you can make yours however big or small that you want. Then I have this piece of paper that I'm going to glue on half of the board. This is where the dry eraser part of the board is going to be. Now to make this into a dry eraser board, you will need a sheet protector and all I did was cut it into the size that I want and I'm going to tape it down. And there is the completed inspiration slash bulletin board. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.